All right, so look, today I came up with this brilliant idea. Now, y'all know, bro, when I start to react to stuff, I just react to stuff, you feel me? Like, no cuts, no nothing, we just do it raw, you feel me? So, I seen this little trend on TikTok going around. It's called, tell me something a job that, something, uh, I got Tell me something that a job taught you that you would never forget, all right? Now, I seen this on TikTok, I seen this little trend on TikTok. I'm like, man, I gotta react to this with the gang, you feel me? So, we finna find out what a lot of people uh, nine to five jobs taught them that they would never forget because honestly, bro, something that a job taught me was they don't care about you. They don't care about you, boy. They don't even look at you as people. They look at you as numbers, bro. <laughs> That's just the thing that a nine to five job taught me. But we can go ahead and get to it, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow you on all social media platforms down below. And without further ado, let's check it out, man. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget, no matter what. I'll go first. I used to work at Quick Trip. And our machines did not give us the amount of change that we were supposed to give back to you. Oh, wait, 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 before we get into the video, hold on, I just gotta get this out the way, all right? Your boy getting a new camera soon, all right? This camera is like, I don't know, bro, it's not staying, fo like, it's focusing, but it's not staying still. So if I, like, move like this, you feel me? Y'all shake, you know what I'm saying? So just bear with me, bro. Your boy getting a new camera. It's coming in the mail. Just bear with me, man. I appreciate all y'all support. Come on. You, so say your total was seven. And our machines did not give us the amount of change that we were supposed to give back to you. So say your total was seven thirty four, and you gave me a twenty dollar bill. I can tell you that I owe you one penny, one nickel, one dime, two quarters, two dollars, and a ten dollar bill. I didn't get it. I didn't get that at all. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget, no matter what. That no matter how good you are at the job or to the job, no matter how much you don't call out, no matter how much you don't complain. No matter how much you come in on your days off, that job will let you go with no hi, bye, or kiss my ass. And they won't feel bad about it either. They will That's literally facts. fire you and then rub salt into the wound. That is perfect, bro. Perfect. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never, ever forget no matter what. One every job has taught me was to get whatever you can get. They have a 401k, max it out. If you get 17 days of PTO a year, use all 17. If you have health insurance, go to the doctor. If they have tuition reimbursement, go to school. If they offer an overtime, sign up. I worked at my last job for eight years. By the time I got let go or laid off, I had bought a house. I had paid off two cars. I bought a motorcycle. And I even helped my husband change his career. I'm going to have something. Hey, that's to what's up. So you can lay me off if you want, but I'm going to get whatever I can get while I'm there. Bro, that's perfect. facts. Get what you can while you at a 9 to 5 job, bro. That's just motivation to me because I work at a 9 to 5, you feel me? And, bro, a lot of people don't understand that working at a 9 to 5 is the hardest thing that you can possibly do, bro. No matter what job you have, bro, you got to deal with other people. You got to deal, bro. And a lot of us don't even... Like, people be so rude, it, especially fast food. I told myself I would never, ever, ever work at another fast food restaurant, bro. After I worked at Burger King, bro, I'm never working at fast food again, bro. I'm not working at McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. Hi, I might help you. Nope, not doing it. Nope, because you go get that customer. Like, bro, shut up. Like, you just go get some rude customers sometimes. I don't know how they come out there with a smile on their face every day. Boy, I would not want to be there at all. But... No, nah, that's so true, bro. Get what you can get what you can while you're there, bro. That's so facts. Come on. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget, no matter what. Everybody's dispensable. Everybody. I don't care what your title is, how long you've worked there, what you do, unless you're the owner of that company, you're dispensable. She you said worked in a company for over eight years. There's a gentleman who's worked there for over 35 years. He started the company with the owner. Started and ended his career as an electrician with this company. And they didn't even give him a thank you card when he retired last year. Nothing. If you think for one second that they have your best interest at heart, you're wrong. Loyalty only goes so far when it comes to corporate America or money in someone's pocket. So... If you're staying with the company you're at because you're being loyal to them and passing up a better offer, don't do that. You take that better offer and you go. Nothing but facts. 
Nothing Tell me something fix. a job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what. Shit, I'm gonna give y'all a few because the jobs I worked at, they be having me fucked up. First off, fuck a two weeks notice, especially that job don't respect you, fuck giving a two weeks notice. And don't come on my comments talking about, oh, you need to be professional. They don't ever give you a notice if they're gonna fire you or if they're gonna- Oh, 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 that, okay. Now see, in my last job, I didn't even give a two week notice, bro. Cause I was, let me tell y'all, like I was working at Burger King for, since I was 16, bro. 16 years old, I done seen people leave. I done seen people come in and go. Come to find out, she told They told me that I had to be 18 to be a manager. So me being 16, I'm like, bro, 16, making some decent money. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like when I turn 17, I'm trying to be a manager. Come to find out, bro, another manager came in there. He was 17 years old, younger than me. Now remind y'all, I'm 18 now. So I'm waiting for the manager position. He's 17, he's a manager, and he's not doing anything right because he hasn't been there as long as I've been there. So, you feel me? When I got hired at the factory I work at now, which is a great company, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hard maintenance. I work at Amazon, if y'all didn't know. Y'all probably seen the video. But I work at Amazon. It's a, it's a lot of work. It, it's not a lot of work, but it's, you know, it's just... If you if you want to work, you know, that's that's just the place to work. You, they pay good. It will do. So, when I got hired there, I just really didn't give a two-week notice. For Birkin, I didn't. I didn't care because it's like, bro, y'all treated me so wrong. I've been here for three, almost three years. It was going on three years, and yet I didn't get a raise. I didn't get nothing, bro. Still getting paid eleven dollars an hour. That's bro. My checks was like two hundred. I would be happy if I got a three hundred dollar check. But you know, something's better than nothing. So yeah, I just had to say that, bro. Dude, he's speaking facts. Don't reduce your hours. Like, fuck that shit. Secondly, you are allowed to request off and don't ever let these jobs make you feel bad for doing so. They give you time off for a reason. And if you request a day off for something important and they don't give it to you, take the day off anyway. Especially if you gave them an ample amount of time, take the fucking day off. Like, you gave them a month in advance or so to figure out the schedule. It is their job to figure it out. Don't let them guilt trip you into coming in. And lastly, mm. be careful around your coworkers because just because y'all work together does not mean they're your fucking friend. I'll take that in. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never, ever forget, no matter what. Honey, come up in here so I can give you this sugar honey iced tea. Now, I have learned when it comes to these jobs, honey, always get your time off approvals in writing. If you can't get it in an actual physical letter, get it via text, via email, it doesn't matter. Let me tell you, I'm in the medical field and I had to go on a temporary disability leave. My job literally tried to fire me, replace me, and thought when I came back, I wasn't gonna notice. Honey, they tried to make up so many lies on me, but I had my receipts. Baby, it was so bad, they didn't even wanna even go to court with me, honey. They signed me a check and just asked me how much did I want. You can do that? Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what. I'll go first. If you are irreplaceable, you are unpromotable, they will not let you go anywhere else. Just quit. That's true. When I was at Bird King. I mean, they look, I was a hard worker. I was the only worker that could move fast in there. Sandwiches would get made on time. Everything would get made on time, but they didn't want to, they didn't replace me. They didn't do, they threatened to replace me, but they couldn't find nobody that was on my level. I've been there for two years, two and a half years. So they couldn't find nobody that could make those sandwiches fast. I mean, why used to slap that man there? like, he, 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 you feel me? Throw the lettuce, tomato, you feel me? I used to make that burger look so good, boy. You would have thought you want to slap your mama because that, that's how good I made Burger King taste, you feel me? But they just didn't want to let me go. So what I do, I quit. And when I try to go to another Burger King, she told me I couldn't go nowhere. Straight to my face, just like that. She said, you can't go nowhere. It's like I was on a contract. But it's all good. I was a simp and I stayed. But I quit. Simple as that. Then when I quit, she tried to make me a GM. Oh, now you want to make me a manager. Now you want to make me a GM. You see, man, nine to five jobs is not it, bro. That's why I'm working so hard on this. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never, ever forget. Coworkers are not your friends. They're just coworkers. Stop telling them your business, showing them pictures. Now, sometimes you might find a cool ass coworker and y'all mesh well. All right. It don't happen often. I got some cool co-workers. I only got like 
to a Tell me something a job, job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what. If you are in a job where you're not getting promoted and people that are less capable than you are getting promoted ahead of you, um, it's because management expects you to leave. Because they know when you're too good for them and they've had other employees like you in the past and they're not going to promote you and invest in you if they plan on you leaving in the next two years. Oh. Um, and also, they know that they're dysfunctional and you as like an employee probably don't see all the dysfunction. You probably see a lot of it, but you don't see all of it. And they know that once you are in a management role, you'll see a lot of the dysfunction and you'll be disgusted and you'll leave. So I've literally had managers be like, well, like I've asked them like, well, are, you know, why did this person get promoted ahead of me? And they've been like, well, you're not going to stay here. Like they literally think about this stuff and they know when you're too good for them to leave tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what if you can survive fast food customers you can survive pretty much anything in life like but, when you started working. Oh, my, oh my mama boy if you can survive fast food customers boy you is a menace to society boy cause I, I promise you now, me personally, I really feel like it was just God in my life because when I gave my life to Christ, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, boy. My anger towards people really went down. I don't even stress it a lot. Like, I used to, bro, the beginning stages of working at Burger King, I done, I done try, I done almost got to fights with customers. I done got to a fight with a dyke. I argued with a female that wanted to be a dude. I, bro, it was so much, bro. I, I done seen baby mamas come through the window. Like, bro, it was so much. And if you can advise, you, you can survive customers like that, especially customers that cuss you out and drive off, man, you can survive anything, bro. And I promise you, like, dog, I really feel like it was God in my life, though, because I, I don't know how my anger slowed down, because, boy, you get me to that peak, I might swing on you, you feel me? I might go ballistics on you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, that, that's so true, bro. That is so true, though. Fast food started dealing with that stuff early on i don't want to sound like that guy but it literally will talk you up tell me something the job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what. my last corporate job taught me that these large corporations will view your overworking and your immense sacrifice of your mental and physical well-being as a good thing story time my last corporate job was such a high stress environment it was an ongoing joke that in order to work there you had to have some kind of addiction and they weren't joking. That ain't even the example I have. I had a coworker who was in her late 40s, early 50s and suffered a heart attack. The heart attack was stress induced caused by the job and they encouraged her to take a nice hiatus to rest her body since she had a whole heart attack. But she didn't want to fall behind on her work so she returned back to work the next week. That wasn't even the worst part. The company threw her a welcome back party with donuts and juice in the break room. And all the supervisors and managers are saying crazy ass shit like, Samantha's love for the job is an indication of how much of a good employee she is and how dedicated she is to doing her job. And y'all wonder why I refuse to work for anybody else again. Hmm. That's why I don't want to work for nobody else again, Tell bro. Me I need y'all. job has taught you. I need y'all. I need y'all to blow me up, bro. Because by the time I turn 19 next year, bro, I'm really trying to quit amazon i don't want to work for nobody else bro like i just want to be on my own start my own everything bro because man these jobs is pathetic i promise you shout out to anybody that's working a nine to five bro you that you will never ever forget no matter what this is story time the day when my manager asked me to call the references of a new applicant i realized that there's no special process for this that i had no way of really verifying that this person was who they said they were and while I was verifying those references, I learned that most companies won't say anything more about you than the day you started, your last day, and the title of your position. Because it's very easy to get sued for saying the wrong thing. Oh, he was late all the time. No, I was only late three times. You're defaming my character and making it difficult for me to get a job. I'm going to sue you. So fuck that two-week notice. They still have to tell the job you work there. And the last thing that I learned from all that is I can be my own references. Since I have several businesses and different phone numbers, all I had to do was put on a different accent. Oh, oh yeah, fine. He's real good. He's a real good employee. Yeah, I'll do yours too. Follow. Okay. I don't think. Tell that's me something. A job has taught you that you will never ever forget, no matter what. I'll go. For
to do the bare minimum because they don't pay you for what you get done. It's just how many hours you be there. So the person doing three things in an hour versus the person to do 10 things in an hour is getting paid the same thing. That's so true, bro. That is so true. Tell me something the job has taught you that you will never, ever forget no matter what. Your company will never give you that raise if they don't feel like they have to. Here's how to guarantee you get yours. Step one, use these tools to research what the industry is offering. Step two, use these answers to avoid questions that will trap you. Finally, make sure to avoid these mistakes when negotiating. And in part two, I'm covering a negotiation script, so make sure to follow for part two. That man was talking too fast for me. I ain't doing nothing. Ah. Uh. All right, y'all, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, bro. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>